Dear Mrs. Cutterly, I would like to formally invite you to my senior graduation on June 11th at Grace Church in Eden Prairie at 6 p.m. You care about each of your students and you were always willing to help me when I needed it. You were always there to cheer me on and encourage me to do better. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be writing this invitation. It's probably the, the one hope for all teachers is to be able to make an impact that, that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. This is like so exciting. Oh, oh my it's gosh. good to see you. <laughs> when I think back about all the teachers that I've had and the ones that have really made an impact, Mrs. Cutterly's like the first one that came into my mind. I'm so glad you brought this because it really does bring it all back. Yeah. Part of teaching is so much more than just what they're learning. And we're fortunate that we have the opportunity to really touch their lives in that way and be that important person for them for a whole year. She's just so kind and has the greatest presence and is just a really inspiring person. She makes me want to be a better version of myself. I've been really fortunate through the years to have so many outstanding students and it, I was so touched to receive a couple of invitations. I, um, I couldn't believe that something that happened nine years ago would be something that would be remembered at this point and it meant, it meant a lot. I can't believe how much you've grown up. Oh, thank you. When you see a, a high schooler and you're a sixth grade teacher, you kind of look for the sixth grader that's in the face. And the one thing that, that is so apparent about uh, Manali is that bright smile. <laughs> I was so honored that you invited me to the oh, yeah, graduation. Yeah, because like, I still remember you because like you made an impact. I chose Mr. Lundgren because I feel like it was always so fun to be in his class. I was always looking forward to it because there was always read aloud, which is really fun. And he craned his neck. It gave me a love for reading a lot. I'll always look at back on my time at Shakopee as the place where I met all these cool teachers and like how different each, each person was and how they made a different impact on me each and every single time. It was just one of those really cool moments where you thought, oh, somebody remembered me. And so it's a, it's just, it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Should I talk about how I wanted to get out of her class? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, nice. <laughs> well, I had her for two classes, so I didn't want to like, overdo it. <laughs> From the beginning, she's always been more than a teacher to me. So it was beginning of junior year for her, and um, there, I was reading Roll on the very first day of school, and I call out Sarah Coobs. I'm like, Sarah Coobs, and half the hockey team was in that class, so everyone starts laughing. And she's like, it's Coobish. And I was like, are you lying to me? I thought she was lying to me. I was like, it says right here, Coobs. <laughs> she, that was the start. <laughs> like, Thank God. <laughs> she just kind of taught me how to step outside the box, and now I feel like I can talk a lot easier in front of a class. I feel more confident. My advice to Sarah would be to call your mom and be confident because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And I love you. You're Mr. Helmbrick. I would like to invite you to attend graduation. How does it feel being back at uh, Red Oak? Everything feels really small, honestly. <laughs> what made me write the note is just the kind of person that Mr. Helmbrick is. Not only is he a great teacher, but he is, he's someone who can relate and reaches out to like every student that's in his class. It was only my second year teaching. Um, we didn't have smart boards back then. We used transparencies and it makes me feel old that Drew's graduated. And they're always fifth grade when they come to me, but when they come back and they visit or I see them as they've grown up into uh, adults and matured throughout the years, um, it's always great to see what they've become and see how they've changed. Wearing my Tony Romo jersey that I still wear today, that's absolutely crazy. I'll miss the people most, like all the coaches, friends, teachers, and just people I've met while I've been growing up here because I've met some really amazing people. I'm good, how about you? Oh my gosh, you sound so manly. <laughs> ah, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. For him to go all the way through elementary, middle school, and high school, and then to think of me when he's already a senior and he's ready to move on and go to college. 
it made me feel, I could cry, um, it made me feel so special that I had made an impact on his life and that he remembered me. So this is Jordan Snyder. Hi, nice to meet you guys. I had him when he was in third grade. I feel like she taught me how to open up, how to talk to people a little bit more. She got me out of my comfort zone and that's how I just started meeting new friends and stuff. It's fun to see their change, just how much they've grown. <laughs> hey Ryan, good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh, uh, it feels like it's been forever. I know. Well, Mr. Bra was my ninth grade geometry teacher. I never really liked math or I never really thought it was enjoyable, I guess. I kind of struggled with it, but Mr. Bra made it enjoyable. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, circumference equals two pi r. Mm. Do you remember that? Yep, yep, right. thanks for the refresher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. good. I was sitting probably in one of the back seats of the classroom one day and Mr. Bra was fixing a window. So I had this pliers and I was squeezing as hard as I could on it and all of a sudden the head just pops right off of it. Part of the wrench flies off and hits me in the back of the head and I turn around and like Mr. Bra's face is like, oh my gosh, like what did I just do? Is she bleeding at all? Let's see if there's any blood. Do I need to call the nurse? And everyone's laughing and then once he realized I was okay, he started laughing and I was like, did you just hit me with a wrench? <laughs> it just shows like, he does not know what he's doing back there. It was funny. The math comes and goes. I mean, we, it's the interaction that we have with the kids when they're here, making schooling and learning enjoyable that makes everything worth it, so. That's awesome. Yeah. It really is. Well, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's so cool to see. I met Muhammad last year. I was in the writing lab in the media center and he came to me with a project for his English 11 class and he uh, presented his uh, stuff that he just was really struggling with. When I first came here from Saudi Arabia, I basically, everything was basically given to me. I never had to work for anything where I came from. So when I first came here, I started world history because I, I thought it would be be an easy class, but it was complete, it was the opposite of what I thought it would be. And that's the part that you want to get at? Yeah, those things. He gave me the courage that, that you can write papers, but you just don't know how to do it yet. That's what he, that's what he used to always tell me. It's amazing how far he, he has come from last year. I had a good teacher teaching me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good, good for you. That's awesome. <laughs> I appreciate that. If it wasn't for Amundsen actually helping me step by step as he did, I probably wouldn't be here, be here today after everything I've been through. And for that, it would be my honor if you would come and support us. Sincerely, Muhammad White. Wasn't planning on being teary today, so, you know, that's kind of cool. He's a great guy. My hopes and dreams for this class is that they just remember that Anything is possible. I, you know, the belief that they have in themselves and the belief that this whole community has for them is that they can, they can achieve it, they can do it. Take in the moment, enjoy it. This is a huge accomplishment in your life. I am so proud of all of these, these students that um, are coming in here. It's the culmination of their academic life. Graduating is the thing that you look forward to. You build up to it since the moment you start school, counting down every year, only 12 years until I graduate, and then all of a sudden it's here and it's happening. And it's an amazing feeling to know that all of your hard work is paying off and that we all have bright futures to look forward to because of all the hard work that we've put in. Congratulations, class of 2016.